what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do a review on a real cheap keyboard that is mechanical and is full size. We are gonna do a review on the Starwave MK315 mechanical keyboard. This video is not sponsored. First off, let's talk about the design. A keyboard design is a simple chocolate bar design with full layout 104 keys. It has a matte black finish with a Starwave logo on the top of the arrow keys. It has RGB lighting on the keycaps and the sides. Pretty neat for a keyboard with its price range. The design of the keys though has a gamer look to it, so if you prefer simple font design, you might want to change its keycaps. It also has function keys and multimedia keys for quick commands. It also has a Windows Start Lock feature. The build of the keyboard is pretty decent. From afar, you will not notice that it is really a cheap keyboard. Well, almost all keyboards with simple design will look like this. But if you inspect and feel the keyboard, you can really feel that it's far from other premium brands. It has aluminum plate and has a plastic case beneath the keyboard. The keycaps are made out of double shot ABS, so no need to worry on keycaps engraving being erased. The lighting in the keyboard is actually good. It has optimal brightness when lights are on and the size of the fonts on the keycaps are really big help on exposing the lights. It has different RGB lighting effects controlled by the function key plus the insert key. The lighting on the side is a really great add-on for RGB master race guys who wants lighting effects all over their desktops. Downside though is that there is no software to control macros and lightning effects. So you might want to look into that. The switches used is Ultimo Blue switches, just tactile feel and clicky sound. It has the same performance with other Ultimo Blue switches based keyboards, with almost double the price of this keyboard as far as I can tell. It's really noisy, but that's just personal preference. Here's a sound sample from typing. Overall, for the, a mechanical keyboard that is just 899 Philippine Peso or just 18 US dollars, this is a great replacement for the guys who wants to switch from dome to mechanical switches and also for the guys who are in a tight budget. I leave a link in the description for those who wants to buy one. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and don't forget to comment down your thoughts and questions below. Thank you.